Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Minecraft Bedrock Survival. Uh, you join me today in our sand mining desert, which is quite a long way away from our base. And uh, there's something I need to show you that we found buried in the sand. Over here we have the excavation site. If we can just go over there and I'll show you what we found in the sand buried deep in the desert for a long time. And it is a massive cover stone. Uh, you see here we've started to excavate around to see what else we can find and beneath the cover stone we found something and that's something we are going to build today back at our base. So now let's head on back to our base and I'll show you what we uncovered beneath this giant cover stone. Okay everyone we are now back at our base and I'll show you what we found underneath that cover stone. Um, it's two chests full of parts. Um, and what we're going to do today, because we are marathoning Stargate at the moment, uh, I decided that I wanted to make actually something Stargate related in our world. So we're actually going to build a working Stargate with a working event horizon. And uh, it's also going to have a little DHD, which is going to go here as well. Uh, I've already done some prep work, you can see here. I've marked out the perimeter for it, and I've marked out where the, um, the wiring is going to go, just so that I had it in. Now you're probably wondering what's going on here as well with the wiring because we've got an awful lot of obstacles here. Um, hopefully all that will be made clear as we build it because we're going to be taking power in an almost circular fashion or circular as we can get here in Minecraft and um, uh, it, it's going to have to be, the power is going to have to be inverted multiple times so that we can get to the top so that we can actually activate our Stargate. Um, so let's uh, crack open these chests and I'll show you what I've got. I haven't made precise calculations as to what we need. Um, let's just uh, get rid of that junk in there. Right, we'll need some scaffolding. Uh, I don't need a shovel anymore. Or will I? <laughs> Never mind. Right, so we've got the scaffolding there. Um, I'll take the dirt blocks just in case. But anyway, going back to the main chest, so we have all of our redstone equipment as usual uh, and we have lots of construction blocks here and most of our gate is going to be constructed out with the grey concrete. You can of course use any colours that you want, uh, anything that you um, any, anything that you want to make it out of. Uh, I'll, just, I'll just put the DHD in first because that's an easy part to build. Uh, we'll make this uh, DHD at some stage look actually like a DHD or at least something as close as we can get. So let's pop that on there. And there we go, that's going to be our DHD. So that doesn't look particularly very good, but uh, the Stargate itself is going to look, uh, I think, really, really good. Uh, actually, we may use some of these buttons on it just to uh, give it some extra decoration. But uh, we'll decide that when we actually get through it, because uh, some of this is going to be things that I've sketched out on my notepad, uh, and some of it is going to be sort of like freehand as we go. Okay, everyone, we're going to start off by just laying out five along the bottom here. Uh, I'm going to put a construction block in there because we're going to have, it's going to be three wide. So we're going to do our outer rings first. Uh, I just realised I'm putting that block in the wrong place because we're going to have lights on this as well. So let's pop two in there. And the way we're going to do the circles on here, if I pop that construction block in there so we'll have one two then a, oops too far down one construction block take that out so we don't forget another light and then a construction block and then we'll go up two out one more and then one two a light and then we'll start going in again. And I'll show you the actual counts for this in, in a few minutes there, just once we get this first half of the ring done. We have our scaffolding as well in here, which is gonna make this a little bit easier. And then two more. Now, hopefully this will be correct. So yep, you can see there we've got there, so it's five, two, one, then vertical two, five, two, then a one, and then horizontal two, and then another five. So now we just need to replicate that on the other side. Okay. 
And there we go, that is the first ring complete. Uh, we just need to, once again, take out all the dirt blocks. We'll, of course, clear out those upper dirt blocks shortly as well. So, oops. This is going to be the basic shape of our Stargate once we're completing it. And as you can see, same again there, it's uh, just the, uh, you know, the five, the two, the one, then the two, and then the five again. Uh, and now what we're going to do is we are going to create a second one of those uh, behind it. So it's exactly the same as that one, except there's got not going to be any uh, lights on this on the, the the back side of it. And as we go as well, we'll take out some of the uh, some of the other stone there. Okay, everyone. We now have the two rings uh, complete. Now, next we need to do the outer ring, which is going to be uh, sort of a one larger than the uh, the current ring there. Uh, let's just get rid of that dirt block because it will bug me. Uh, I'm hoping I've got enough uh, of the concrete here that we're using. Uh, I didn't, as I said, I didn't count all the resources that we needed. I just sort of did a, a sort of estimate of, oh well, I've got stacks. I'll just chuck some stacks in. Because uh, I'm like, how did I make grey? Was grey from a plant, or did I have to mix the white and the black? which I don't have any ink sacks left, so it's a case of I hope I have enough resources to build this. As I said, for you guys, you can build this out of whatever colours you want, whatever you like in your world. Uh, night time's coming in here. Uh, we might, well, we shouldn't get any spawning here, because um, I had to take out some, as I see, some of the torches, because obviously this area is littered with torches. But anyway, um, let's uh, extend this a little bit. So we're basically just building this out by one of what we did earlier on. Um, as I said, some of these blocks are actually going to be taken out because we're going to replace them with uh, droppers or dispensers, whichever one it is. Or actually, I should say, um, yeah, dispensers, a dispenser that you need, and you need about 30 of them for uh, for this. We don't actually need all 30, but some of it's just for uh, a, a look. Um, like I said, the, these two here will be replaced with droppers. Uh, two there as well, just because of the, I like the texture on them. <laughs> and it also keeps it all even to the rest of the build. But anyway, you can see there what we're trying to build there. We're trying to build this all the way up and round. And we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. And actually all the way, all the way around to the top as well. Okay, so that is the lower section now of that done, and next we need to go on to having our dispensers. I should have really put all the other dispensers in whilst we were doing this, but it doesn't matter because we, we can always change up bits and bobs uh, as we go. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is put some scaffolding here. Yep, that should be high enough. And another little bit of scaffolding here. And yep, that should be high enough. And the ones that we'd mentioned before, we're actually going to change those now. We might as well get, just, uh, just get them out there. Um, so I'm going to take out this block and this block. Put a temporary dirt block in there. And... Ah, right, that's the wrong way around. Well, that shouldn't really make much difference. But the, the look that we're going for with these is we need them facing um, either up or down so that they don't have that funny line on them. So let's try that again. So if I come out here and oh, we'll get rid of uh, get rid of that dirt. And this is the sort of like it's going to look like as we go around. And there we go. So that's how we're going to get those there. It's going to be a little bit awkward getting these in, but we'll get the other two in on this side here as well now. There you go. That second side was far easier. <laughs> I think we, uh, we got the angles in from the first time around. So next up, uh, we're going to do the upper section. And this is going to require a little bit of dirt placing. Uh, just make sure I have got... Uh, yeah, well, we need to do those ones over there as well, but that'll be fine. So the next bit, we are going to just finish off the uh, upper section here. Um, this is where things get a little bit sort of complicated. Just for the, uh, the positioning of certain things. Right, so we're going to put some dirt in here, just as temporary.
I think that's right. Like, let's have a look. And we will get a little bit of scaffolding up. And are we high enough? Nope, not in the right position for that one. Let's see. Because what we're going for here is an array of uh, dispensers. And these are what's going to create our um, event horizon effect. Okay, so we've got that little bit in there. Oop, falling down the scaffolding. And for the next bit, right, so if we go forward. And how far can we walk out? Hopefully we can get all these in at the right angle. Yeah, they're all going in nicely there. Right, so we'll come over to this side. And we're still getting stuck here. <laughs> right. Let's pop that there and create a little cap from that. And then we can come back over here. Grab another dispenser. Is it a dispenser? Is it? Yeah, dispenser. I always get dispensers and droppers mixed up. So, right, that's, that's it. That's those now all in place. So... Next, we're going to have to wire up some of the redstone, and we actually need two more dispensers up there as well that we forgot to place. I'll actually, no, it, it might cause a technical issue actually if we put those in there. So, tell you what, we'll, we'll not bother with those. Uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to do a little bit of the decoration, I think, first, and then after that, we will come back and do where uh, the wiring. So, I've chosen for my decorations here. I've got the the andesite. Uh, keep quite a bit of that there and uh, I've also got some dark prismarine slabs uh, and that is just to hide these dispensers a little bit and just to give it a slightly different texture dotted around um, of course the the bad thing about scaffolding is when you're trying to um, oh I haven't even got any of it left uh, if you're trying to place something which has an inventory you can't shift without going down uh, actually, I wonder if I can place this in here like that. Yep, yeah, right, get it that way. I can get that one. Uh, but all the others are going to require uh, us to be on ground like this. Now, we might be able to reach across to everything from here. So I crouch down. How far can I reach? Oh, we've done quite well actually uh, and the other one we'll, be, we'll just build another tower over there but before we go anywhere uh, i'm going to place some of this as well just to give it a little bit more texture and we'll place as many of these as we can from this side before we go to the other uh, so one there and one there and uh, we're going to do this on the other side as well place one down there actually I'm gonna place an entire row down there and a few more of these right, so now we should have a little bit of extra scaffolding so that we can get back up here and we're just gonna to have to do a little quick press just to get these last ones in and then after that it's smooth sailing for getting these last ones in pop these in here reclaim the scaffolding let's gather that up and if I do, if I keep falling down the hole. So there we go. That is the basic structure. We still have those uh, dirt blocks. We're going up there anyway because we need to put uh, water in the, the ones at the top. Um, actually, should we do that now? And then we have that bit there done. I can't remember how many water buckets we need, so I just did a full stack. So let's go from that there. Uh, we next now need to get ourselves up to the top.
Right, and that's all of our water in. Next, we are going to uh, cover these up again, apart from those corner ones. And next, I think we'll have to move on to the wiring. So I'll just explain quickly what we've done there. Right, we have, as I said, we've got water in each of these. And what is going to happen is, uh, the reason as well that we put the extra ring around is as it's going to be a source block at the top, it would come out and it would originally come down and occupy both of these and the water will go everywhere. So what we've done is we've just put uh, the half slabs there and I've also just, uh, just to cover them up, you don't necessarily need these half slabs in the middle, I just put them there for decoration. Uh, and they will, uh, oops, the, the the water will flow. We don't need to put water in this column here because nothing's going to be seen in that gap. Uh, and we're actually going to use that for something else. Um, but all the rest of them, those will get waterlogged and it'll come down here. So the next bit is the tricky bit because now we need to put in our wiring. So let's pop back some of the blocks that we don't need. Uh, I don't think we need any more of the water. So let's get shot of that for the minute. Right, what are we going to take out next? Right, um, as I said, I don't know how much of this that we actually need. I just packed absolutely loads of it. Uh, oh, did I pick up redstone? Yes, I did. Right, let's get rid of that. We don't need those at the minute, so we can keep most of what we need in our hot bar. Uh, yep, yeah, that should be everything. So, what we're going to do is we're going to have a bit of redstone here. I'm going to stick a torch here. This is where things look really, really weird, but uh, trust me, it, it is going to uh, to work. And then across to here. And then I will stick a one of them going in there. And oops, I'll block myself in. That should energize this block. And have I got any dirt in my inventory? Yeah. Right, let's cover that up. Right, so next up, what we want is, because we want these to light up. Uh, right, we're going to need a little dab of, well, stick a repeater in there, and I'll show you, we'll just check that this is actually going to work. I don't think I've got the right number of inversions in, or have I? Yes, actually, yeah, that is going to work. Right, so um, what's going to happen is we're going to cover up this bit, bit here. Uh, but for now, I'm going to put a torch under there. So what will happen is when we dial an address... Yep, that lights up. So yeah, that's right. And you won't see that torch because it's going to get covered up in a couple of minutes. So for the next bit, we're going to take the redstone signals and we're going to send them up either side of... Um, of the of the uh, the Stargate here. So to do that, we're going to have a little chain going up. Um, uh, let's see if I got the right numbers here. So that will power that block, which will power that. Which yeah, and you'll see here as the power is going through there, that gets unpowered, then powered, then so on and so forth. Um, and. Let's see if I've got the uh, the right numbers here. Yep. Just going to pop that in there. And I need more scaffolding. Because uh, the awkward part of this is getting the um, is getting it to go up. And uh, what we're going to do is, uh, because obviously we, we're trying to get it around an almost circular pattern here, is we're going to bring it in on this inner ring. So we need a few more blocks there. And that's how we're going to get the signal up to the top. Uh, so we need a little bit more scaffolding. Oop, wasn't sure if I'd be able to place that on top of the dispenser. So let's pop that in there and get a little bit higher. And then that's in there. Okay, now from there, so we've got the power's going to come to this side and we're now going to mirror that onto the other side. Okay, so now that we're at the back, we're just going to mirror that once more. Uh, just creating a little little chain here. This side though is going to be slightly different because we don't oops, we don't actually need to go uh, quite as high with it. There we go, and that should be correct. It looks correct. <laughs> but this one here doesn't actually have to go quite up as high. 
um, because it only needs to, uh, to power that light. That's the only thing, because the other one will get powered by the other section. Yeah, that's where it comes through. So as it comes up that column, this block here is energized. So then this is where the fun starts. And we need to get across here. And basically just paint this area with our redstone. Then we can get that round the back. We can draw that one in there. And we will once again just paint around here with that. And technically, that's it. Uh, let's just hop down here and give it a quick test. So we dial the address. And there we go, it's actually working. Uh, oh, of course, though, uh, there is a few little dodgy bits there because, of course, we have scaffolding number blocks dotted around in places where we shouldn't have had them. <laughs> right, let's clear out this mess and we'll uh, tidy up this area. Okay, so that first test has now been cleared up and I've replaced the redstone that got washed away and all of these that got washed away. Uh, it's been a bit of, a, bit of a, a, a dodgy build for those sorts of things. Uh, but now we're gonna oops, clear out the rest of the scaffolding. Uh, do I have an ax? Yes, I do. And next we are going to uh, decorate it and light it up a little bit. Um, I've got everything collected there. Yep. So what we're going to use for the decoration is one of my favourite ones, smooth stone slabs and the sea lanterns. So let's just get all of those in there. I'm not quite sure how many we're going to need. I tell you what, I'm going to keep the buttons as well because we may use buttons. So okay, what we're going to do for here is have it obviously step up to the gate. Uh, and we also need to light it up, so I'm going to put some sea lanterns around it. There we go, so that's some little steps there, and now we just need to build up this area around the side, and this will hide some of our redstone. Uh, majority of the redstone is all concealed within our stargate. So, let's build up a, uh, a little perimeter going around. There we go. Is that equal? So let's see, we've got the three, the one, twos, and then a set of ones. Yeah, that looks fairly symmetrical. Um, is there anything else, anything around the back here that we've missed off, uh, apart from putting all the dirt in? Uh, do we have actually any dirt left? That's handy. Oh, look at that. We've still touched a whole load of it. Right, let's pop... Uh, actually, we need to put some lights down here. Uh, I'm not going to waste sea lands, so we will just... Uh, actually, I don't even need to do that, do I? Um, we don't need two columns down here, because that's going to create a pot potential for spawning. Uh, what have we got? Have we got plenty of dirt handy? Just have a little bit of dirt left, right. So I will quickly seal this up, because we don't need this entire spot uh, empty. Okay, everyone, I think that is it. It's been a bit of an awkward build because I, I only had like a rough sketch of what I wanted to do. So this video is probably way, way longer than what I had originally wanted it to be. Uh, actually, just looking at my recording clock there, it says I've been recording for one hour. Uh, hopefully, I will have cut it to um, no more than 15 minutes. Um, fingers crossed anyway. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, as I said, this is a working Stargate. Uh, I'm going to take a little look um, 
So you see around there, and oh, I need to come back and fill out these. I'll, I'll do a little bit of terraforming here uh, off camera over the over the course of memories tomorrow. Uh, but as I said, this is a working Stargate. So we have our little path that comes from our main base here. Uh, we can come here and we have, this is obviously this is a temporary DHD, we'll do something more fancy and I would like to be able to rig it so that uh, the lights come on individually but I think we might have to go a bit bigger for that because as I said we wanted to keep this uh, nice and compact and we do quite well to keep everything within our little region here. Um, so I think the only thing left to do will be to dial the gate. So we come in here and we can tap the buttons, dial our address, and then press the button in the center. It lights up, and there is the portal. I should have really done this on a nice day, because it, it is really hard. Actually, I don't know how long I've been awake for in Minecraft. Uh, and then we can just come up here, and we can step through. But uh, we're not stepping through today. To, today, we are going to, oh, actually, I've just realized we have missed something. Uh, quickly to the base. Good thing about doing a build today actually at our base it means that we are actually at our storage system. Uh, which actually, I'll do a quick update on this for a minute. Um, oh, that was the wrong floor. I have put everything in. The only thing I'm doing now is where all the filter blocks in are everything. The only thing I need to decide what is going to go in each one of these. But I, I finished building the entire thing. And these are the leftover resources. You can see I kind of maybe went a bit uh, over the top with uh, construction materials because we have all of these left over from the build because I thought we were going to use a hell of a lot. I should have calculated it beforehand. Um, this is the overflow as well at the minute. So this is all the junk that we have overflowed. But uh, we're going back up the top because we need a switch. Uh, we can get that from the main chamber because I'm certain I've got some in stock. So we'll just hop up here into our main chamber and I'm sure the redstone chest at the back here has some pressure plates in it. Yeah, oh yeah, loads. <laughs> so I'll tell you what, let's sleep if we can. Ah, no, it's not night time, is it? It's just raining. <laughs> so here we are back at the gate with the missing component so that when we get back through the gate, Fingers crossed. Yep, that's all wired up quickly. As it, we, we had all those little bulges uh, down below and beneath here. If I just hop in here, you see there, that was one of those little bulges there, which I planned to be in line with that. So let's hop back out here. And there we go, the Stargate slowly turns off. Um, I was actually thinking about getting a flying machine and getting a flying machine to go through it to send a probe. But then I suddenly realised that if we do that, the water will spew absolutely everywhere, won't it? Because the flying machine will just act as a block. <laughs> It'll be an absolute catastrophe. Uh, but there we go. I say, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, favourite and subscribe. Uh, and don't forget to check out my uh, Stargate Network video. Uh, it's... Um, we visit four worlds in it. Uh, it's about 45 minutes long, uh, but it's a really good exploration of uh, the SGC that is being built. And I am working on another recording, which I talk about in that, which is going to be a six hour long um, Stargate um, hike. Uh, which it's, it's just for a laugh more than anything else but uh, uh, check it out it, it should be uploaded possibly next week uh, it, is, it is quite a large file because it's six hours worth of film that I'm putting together um, but uh, anyway uh, let's dial up the gate and uh, get out of here so I hope you all enjoyed that don't forget to rate, comment, favourite and subscribe and join me in the next episode where we are going to journey through the Stargate to another world so join me next time uh, for another episode of Minecraft Bedrock Survival.